Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome to Valley Vista Ranch GC by the one and only Aces R Wild. This is his final PS4 course. As we can see, fairways are soft, greens are firm, green speeds fast, everything else is default. We've got four tee options. We are going to be playing off the gold tees, which are playing 7,690 yards. And as always, pin set number one. So like I said, this is Aces R Wild's final PS4 course. This is an autumn theme course. And he stumbled across this while cleaning out his PS4. This is a course that he did create two years ago and he released a beta for it and he's eventually gotten round to finishing it which is good news for me and good news for you guys so hole number one par four playing 505 yard stroke index number seven but what a fantastic looking opening hole to kick off valley vista ranch golf club we've got 13 mile per hour wind so just applying a touch of draw here setting us down the left hand side of the fairway and hoping the draw just overpowers the wind. It's a decent opening tee shot. We should end up over on the right hand side of the fairway. This course was inspired by RTJ Trail Course, which is Robert Trent Jones Trail Course. You can already see the, the similarities to that in the first hole. Once again, applying a uh, draw here with this 5 iron. See if we can get this up close to the, the pin. It's a nice strike. I think it's just going to come up a little bit short. Looks like we've got an uphill slope here, but it is going to leave us a birdie opportunity, probably about 16 to 18 feet out. 19 feet. Green speeds are 173. This is going to turn to the left. Look at that bridge. Off there in the distance after this putt. Drops. Oh, we just miss it. But look at that bridge there. That is absolutely fabulous. Aces are wild. A legend among legends when it comes to designers for the, the golf club franchise. But hole number two, par four, playing 456 yards, stroke index five. Wow. This is going to be a severe dog leg right, very narrow fairways by the looks of things. And I can tell you that tree on our left hand side is going to be a problem. You just know it, don't you? Look how thin these fairways are. Bunker on the right hand side, protecting that green. Oh, with that 12 mile per hour wind, we're going to have to aim for the left hand side of this fairway. The wind should take us round, just looking to land the right hand side of this tree. To make sure we do have a, a line of sight up towards the green. It's a laser beam. There's a wind coming round. This should kick to the right also. As long as we don't hit the actual tree. There we go. And that is going to leave us. With a difficult 9 iron. Into the second green. Just applying the draw once again. Just to counteract the wind. If you've not yet seen my tutorial video on how to use the, the draw and fade in this game, please go check it out. I'm confident that this could be a, a pin seeker. That is a fabulous strike. The wind should start to come round. Is it going to sit? Just runs on a bit with these firm greens, but we are going to have about a 12 foot putt for birdie here. 11 foot putt. 2 inches down. Tough greens. Oh, that's a terrible putt. I'll tell you right now, yeah. That's a terrible putt. It was never even close. And that's actually went about six, seven feet past. This could be a tricky putt for par. Terrible birdie effort. We do pick up the par. And after the first two holes, we are going to remain at level par. So, hole number three is a par three. First to the par threes, playing 193 yard stroke index three. But the Players' Championship starts today, guys, and with me not working at now with my health, I am going to be watching as much of that as I can. I can't see past Rory McIlroy this year, to be honest. We will have a video up. 
coincides with the the Players' Championship at TP Sawgrass. So we're lofting this 5-iron up, just allowing the wind to take us round. The green does slope back on itself to the left. Swinging well. Wind should take us round. Oh, it's going to be long. Please sit. Wow. I thought that looked a fantastic tee shot. In air, I don't see how you get close to that pin then. We've been whoa, we've been punished for a a good shot there, in my opinion. But let's just go and chip this in, or at the very least get it close. Nine yards out, going to turn to the right. Great execution. It's got a chance. Oh, what a chip in that is, and we do pick up our first birdie of the round and move to one under par. So. Hole number four, par five, playing 606 yards. What a monster par five, stroke index nine. Once again, we've got the water cutting into the fairway here. There's going to be a dog leg left. Depending on the wind, this could be a very tricky hole. And I think the wind's actually going to be in our face. There's another bridge. The bridge work is absolutely fantastic, guys. So we've got an 11 mile per hour wind into our face. Should take us to the right also. Just try to set up a good layup shot here because we're never reaching this green in two. Maybe if the wind was 11 mile per hour in our favour. It's another laser beam. This should just find the left centre of the fairway. Would imagine we could chase a two wood down here. This gave us a pitch shot. We're certainly not going to be pitching it. With that 12 mile per hour wind in our face, I'm sure that holds us up. I'm just aiming for this bunker and the wind should hopefully hold us up. Hopefully we've got enough fairway to work with here and we don't land in the bunker. Another decent strike. The wind's not holding me up. Come on, come on. Oh, it did hold me up but not as much as I would have liked. And we are now in the heavy rough, which is fairly punishing. 77 to 84%. I'm going 9 iron. I don't think we get there. I think this is just going to come up short of the green. At the moment, par is what I'm aiming for. Forget about the birdie now. The wind up to 13 miles per hour. Oh, I've pulled that left. Yeah, it's going way left. We are going to come up short of the green. Not a nice swing. So we need to get this up and down just for the par save to remain at one under. Just going to chip this up. It is uphill, so we can be aggressive here. Just going to loft it up one or two touches. It's another great execution. Oh, that stopped really quickly. We must have just caught that uphill slope. A chip doesn't normally stop as quick as that. But we do pick up the par. But the wind, by the looks of things, is really going to change the complex of this course and dictate how you play the course. Hole number five, par four, playing 469 yards, stroke index 13. But this is a fantastic looking course, guys. I think aces are wild, preferences are RCRs. I can't ever really call them doing extreme fantasy courses. This is a very natural looking golf course, this. Like I say, clearly inspired by Robert Trent Jones' trail course. With this 11 mile per hour wind behind us, we can attack this. Just looking to carry that bunker. Nice swing, nice tee shot. Plenty of fairway to work with here. I imagine that's going to leave us nothing more than a wedge into this green. 136 yards out with that 13 mile per hour wind behind us. Let's come down to the gap wedge. Ball at our feet's going to move to the right. The wind should take us back. Just deal off to that touch. Hopefully we've got enough yardage with that wind to get up near the flag. Oh, that's a horrible swing like That is going to go left. And with that, 
we're going to have a tricky putt. Yardage was bang on, absolutely bang on. But we've pulled that 14 feet wide to the left of the pin stick there. Horrible swing line. Tricky putt, uphill. Pace is crucial here. Needs to start to turn. It looks as if it is. Oh, and it does. And what a fantastic birdie putt that is after an awful approach shot from 136 yards out. We do pick up our second birdie and move to two under par. Hole number six, par three. Playing 211 yards, stroke index 11. It's an island green. Can't wait to see the, the shots at TPC Sawgrass. At TPC Sawgrass, sorry. On the 17th green. Let's see if we can execute a good shot here. So we're fully lofting up this 5 hybrid. Allowing that wind to take us round to the left. We're in between clubs here. 5 iron wouldn't get me there. Oh, it's a laser beam. Come on, wind, take me round. Oh, that wind's carrying me a little bit more than I would have liked. We're still going to be long. That is crazy. Maybe we should have had a look at 5 iron, but I just feel the 5 iron wouldn't have got there. No, I don't think it would have. That fence could have well been in play with a 5 iron. A tricky putt from 46 feet out. It is uphill. This is going to break hard left, so we can't attack this. We can be aggressive with this. But I did do a poll on Twitter. If you've not yet followed me on Twitter, guys, and you are on Twitter, please give me a follow. My Twitter handle is at 1981early. And currently... Rory McIlroy has 45%, John Ram 9%, Justin Thomas 0%, and other golfer, which could be anyone except the three mentioned. That's the three favourites, is 45%. Go and check that poll out on Twitter if you haven't already done so and cast your vote. But hole number seven, second of the par fives, is playing 558 yards stroke index 15. The water is dividing the fairway there. Look how well protected this green is with that three bunkers. Heart-shaped bunker there also. Got a 10 mile per hour wind that's going to take us to the left. So we're just setting us down the right hand side of the fairway. This is where you've got to be careful with your swing lines here guys. Because if I put a slower push this right, we could well be in the drink. And that's what I'm saying. This wind... Is really I've put, that's a horrible swing line. We're going to be fortunate to hold the fairway here. That's bunkered. I tell you now, that's bunkered. It's an awful swing line. It's in the heavy rough. We probably would have been better landing in the bunker. No real harm done because I don't think we'd have been attacking this in two. So just try to get this two iron up there. It's going to move hard left off the club face due to the light. So we're aiming way right. Oh, that's just came out hard left. And we even pushed that right. I pushed that right to try to compensate for the pool left, the previous one. What is going on with my swing at times? So, need to get this pitch close. Why am I in par? There we go. Let's move down a club to the sand wedge. Just going to deal off this a touch. This should run out about 62 yards, I would like to think. I didn't come out great. I think we got the 88%. Is it going to run up the hill for us? It came up four or five yards short. But we do have a butt. A butt. We do have a putt from 16 feet to salvage this birdie. Once again, it's going to turn to the left. Up three inches. Tough greens here, by the way. Going to have to putt well to shoot low. Is it turning? It is turning. Has it got the legs? It does have the legs. And we do pick up another birdie and move to three under par. How on earth have we scrambled a birdie there? Our tee shot went in the bunker, or just right at the bunker in a heavy rough. Our uh, approach shot for our layup went into the bunker. We came up short of the pitch, and we pulled off a fantastic clutch putt. 
But hole number eight, par four, playing 320 yards. Stroke index 17, second easiest hole in the course. I think like, we can hit the big dog here. Should just come up short off the green with a good tee shot here. That one should move us to the right. Absolute laser beam. How can I go from the previous hole where my swing line's horrible to an absolute laser beam? That's the inconsistency. It's in my swing at the moment. It's frustrating, but the game would be boring if I was shooting laser beams all the time. With that uphill slope, we should just come up bang on with this flop shot. Don't need to touch it. Good execution. I tell you what, this is in. That's right at the flagstick. Get in. Oh, it hops, skipped and jumped over the hole. But it is going to leave us a little tap in from about three feet. Two feet. And I think that's the first time in the course we've got back-to-back -back birdies and we do move to four under par. So, hole number nine. Hardest hole in the course coming in at stroke index one. It's a monster par four. Playing 503 yards. Dog leg right. Water in play on the right hand side. Bunkers and tree line on the left. But what a fantastic looking course this is, guys. I am delighted Aces are wild stumbled across this while he was clearing out his PS4. If not, we would never have had the pleasure of taking on this challenging course. The winds die down. Nope. Seven mile per hour wind. Single digits. Just looking to set us down the left hand side of the fairway, allowing the wind to bring us back. Push that one slightly right. The wind's really moved that one. This should kick uphill for us. I think we've took that tree out of the equation. We have. Just got to make sure that that tree's not obscuring your, your line of sight. But we're going to have to deal off this 5 iron. I'm trying to kick this up that slope. These are tough approach shots. The majority of these holes. They're certainly not easy. The way the greens have been designed. And the pin location. It's a decent swing. This should kick up, I would like to think. It's got a chance of reaching, has it? Oh, no, it hasn't. Came up way short. It's going to leave us another chip shot. Just looking to land this at the front of the green. And let this ball release forward. It should turn. Has it got the legs to get up there? I tell you what. What a fantastic effort. Now, that's normally a shot I would flop. But I have been practicing my chip shots from that kind of range. Just getting a feel for how far the club goes, different yardage and things. So we finished the front nine at four under. It's a very challenging course, by the way. Especially in these windy conditions. But hole number 10 is another monster par five, playing 665 yards, stroke index 16. I've got a feeling... The wind's going to be against us again. But just the autumn colours, guys, is, is absolutely stunning. It really does make a course look so natural with the colour schemes. So sending this down the right-hand side, just looking to come over the top of this tree on the left with the wind. Beautiful swing. There we go. We avoid a collision with the branches there somehow. And that is going to set us up for a nice layup shot here. Very tight fairways here. Very winding. Ball's going to move to the left here. Really want to find fairway. Fantastic strike. Oh, we've nailed that. We have absolutely nailed that, and that should leave us a pitch shot. Just clutching onto the, the left-hand side of the fairway. Just going to come down to the sand wedge and deal off this. It is up uphill by 11 feet. Got an uphill lie as well. So just 
looking to land his ball a good bit short and let it run out. Pushed it right again. How on earth have we gotten that distance? Never expected that ball to get that distance on an uphill lie. We've got a 17 foot putt down 4 inches for the birdie. It's makeable. Needs to hold its line for me. It does hold its line. And we do pick up a birdie. I tell you what, I pushed that slightly right and we're fortunate I did. If I put a clean swing or a clean putt line on that, I don't think that would have dropped. Hole number 11. Par 4. 391 yards stroke index 14. Dog leg left. I would imagine... Pardon me, with a good wind behind us, you could drive this green. But I don't think the wind will be favourable for us going by the direction this hole is. No, nope. got a 10 mile per hour wind, diagonal wind, but let's just have a look. Tell you what, any kind of wind in your favour and I'm taking that on. This is tough though. I said it about on the second or third hole. The wind is going to dictate this course on how you play it and how you can shoot. So just looking to find that large area, a fairway. Wind should take us around slightly. I think we've played that really well. We should have enough fairway to work with. It is uphill. Fairways are soft. And that's a great tee shot. And that's going to leave us a wedge. Oh, that tree. I tell you what. Some of these hazards have been very well strategically placed. So we're going to have to apply some fade here because this ball at our feet is going to move hard left. So just a touch of fade just to counter that, counteract that with a lob wedge. I've nailed that. I tell you what, if that, yeah, that should bounce out forward for us fairly well. I think we've played that really, really well. That's going to give us about a six foot putt for the birdie. Seven footer, very happy with that outcome. And we do knock that into the heart of the cup for birdie number five. Birdie number six, I'm doing myself out of a birdie there, so we are six under. Hole number 12, par three. Quite a short par three, playing 165 yards, but the views on some of these par threes are absolutely stunning. Lots of variation in this course, guys, and that's what I love. I think this course is going to challenge every ability of golfer, and it's going to challenge most aspects of each and every single shot. Just lofting up this 8 iron. I still believe I've got just about enough club here. I don't want to loft it up anymore. Playing one five nine. Oh, it's a horrible swing. It's going way right. We are a little bit long. I think that's going to just about hold the green. No, nope, it trickles out. Horrible swing. So we could have lofted that up a little bit more. It's a slow and I've pushed it right. Fortunately, it checks up and we should be knocking that in for about a four to five foot putt for par. But any poor shot on this course is going to be magnified due to the challenge, which I like. I think a lot of people may downgrade this course due to the challenge of it. But let's move on to hole number 13. Huge bridge on the right hand side. It's like a, a covered bridge, a walkway. This is playing 427 yards. But the fairways are very, very tight. And like I say, depending on what kind of conditions and direction of the wind you're playing in, your score could be very, very different on each and every single round. But just looking for this heavy rough to hold us up and then kick out of it. Great strike. Oh, don't tell me we're going to miss the, the rough. Oh, we have. I didn't think we would have nailed that. Wow. I didn't think we were as d the tee box was as elevated as that. We have absolutely boomed that, that drive. 
So it's another bunker. Just going to loft up this gap wedge. Looking to find a pin seeker here with the help of the green. Should have just about enough club here. This should bounce out firmly coming out the rough. What an execution that is. Get up. Get up. It should run out well. I'll take that. Probably about an 8 to 10 foot putt for birdie uphill. 8 feet bang on. Not much movement in this one. Just left edge of the cup. Play it firm. And it drops right into the centre off the cup. And we do move to 7 under par. 5 holes to go. So hole number 14 of Valley Vista Ranch is a monster par 4. 520 yards. This one looks like it's going to be a dog leg right. But straight away, after about two, three holes into this course, you can tell it has been inspired, or Aces Are Wild's been inspired by Robert Trent Jones' trail course. Lots of similarities. But this is a fantastic course. Like I say... End of an era on the PS4 for Aces Are Wild. His final ever course that he will be designing on the PS4. We find the centre of the fairway there. Should just about have a good line of sight into this 14th green. 200 yards out. Once again, we're going to have to skip this on from the fairway. This ball's going to kick right. So just aiming this left, allowing the wind to take us back round slightly. I'm looking to get this one close. The green is going to turn to the right here. Ball should skip to the right also. Good strike. Pulled it a wee bit. Track him well. This is exactly where I wanted to land it. There's the kick. Should now start to turn towards the pin. And what a fantastic golf shot that is, guys. If you haven't already done so, please spam that like button. It really helps the channel out. We have been rewarded with a seven foot putt. This one's going to turn to the right. Turn. And we do pick up birdie number eight. Sitting at eight under for the round. So the good thing is, with the, the risk reward shots in this course, if you execute them well, you are being rewarded. If you don't execute them well, you're in a world of pain. But hole number 15, easiest hole on the course coming in at stroke index 18. Is a short par 5 for this course, playing 550 for the yards. I think this is reachable in two, you know, depending on the wind. Just going by the flyover, if we nail our, our tee shot, 300 plus yards, we're going to have to apply a touch of draw here. Once again, a well-placed bunker. Can't just pull out the big dog and let it rip. Should apply just a right amount of draw here. We've got that six mile per hour wind as well. It should help us out distance wise. That should be bang on. Fairway should kick to the left, I would like to think. It does. Are we going to be able to see the, the green due to this tree? It's in front of us though. Yeah, we can. Just that overhanging branch. So five hybrid for me. Just going to deal off this. Looking to use that slope there to the, the right of the bunker. Hopefully we find that it should filter down towards the pin. Oh, I've pulled that hard left. That is going to be in the, the heavy rough. Yep. Oh, we were going to be bang on line to just another two yards to the right. I think we could have found that slope. But let's see if we can get this chip shot close from the heavy rough. Not a good light. So let's have a look at the flop. Going to fully loft this up. Should release out well. Came up a little bit short, you know. I just didn't fancy chipping that with extreme break on the green and the lie we had. So 11 foot putt for birdie up 4 inches. That should turn. 
it does turn, and we are rewarded with the birdie. But I tell you something, we've not played the par fives to the best of our ability today. We've had to scramble really well. But a golfer who can scramble is a dangerous player. As we do move on to the 16th. It's a par 3, 219 yards. Once again, water is in play throughout this entire hole. Really in between clubs once again, but it's going to have to be the 5 hybrid. Got a 4 mile per hour wind. Keeps changing. The wind has really died down these last few holes. It's a laser beam. Oh, the winds took a hold of that. How quickly is this going to sit down? No. Not quickly at all, and that's going to run probably off the green. So hard to get dialed into some of these pins. Due to the the yardage and the pin placements, and also the way the, the greens have been shaped. It's fantastic. So another chip shot. That should really turn hard. This could go in. Please get in. Oh, it's a great effort. Just come up short. I've been really impressed with my short game today. And we do pick up a par there. But you don't want to miss this. Ace is our wild course, guys. Valley Vista Ranch. It really is a stunning course. Hole number 17, par 4, playing 433 yard stroke index 2. I don't think we can play driver here. The green is way off in the shadows of these trees, surrounded by two bunkers. But the fairway is divided by two bunkers also. I tell you what, let's take it on guys, just to see if we can make it. If the wind was with us, we could. If I wanted to shoot low and wanted to impress you guys with scores, I'm probably hitting 5 hybrid and finding the fairway. But let's just see if we can find that gap between the bunker and tree and get this kicking out. It's going to be close. Oh, not a swing line with that. That's going to be in the bunker. Pulled it. Oh, it's plugged. That ball is plugged. So I've not answered the question if you can make it or not because I didn't land the ball where I wanted to land it due to a poor swing light. This ball is really going to shoot left here. So just try to get this out with a pitching wedge. Take our medicine. The ball didn't move left at all. Oh, I need a kick off the tree. Oh, I get one. Look at that. It's kicked me further away from the, the pin, but at least we're going to have a nice lie in the fairway. Oh, wow. We need to try and get this close. That is a horrible front on the green. So just try to pitch this. Green's going to turn to the right. I think we'll just catch the top of the slope, and it should sit the ball down quickly. Oh, I've pulled it left. What's going on? It's decent though, we did say the green turn to the right, but I really didn't mean to go as far left as that obviously with the pool. Seven footer. We scrambled the par once again, and we are going to remain at nine under par. So let's move on to the final hole of Valley Vista Ranch. It's a long par four, playing 494 yards, stroke index 12. It's going to be a severe dog leg right. Nice little pond there on the left hand side. Once again, some of these trees are going to be strategically placed. There's a VV. I take it that stands for Valley Vista. There's a clubhouse. But what a fantastic finishing hole. Oh, I think we're going to have to take this tree on. Let's just have a look at the two Vs. Nope. Don't have enough club to get out of there, I do believe. Let's just come to the, the left of this tree. We should have enough fairway. I think we may just clip this tree anyway. That would hold the ball up. Nice. Oh, it's a laser beam. 
yeah, we are going to catch this tree. It is going to do us a favour. It's going to hold the ball up. That's going to leave us a a difficult uphill approach shot into this. I don't believe that that's 29 yards, uh, 29 feet, which is 10 yards above me. I'm going to have to go with what it says. So according to that, that is playing, let's say, 81 yards with a win behind me. I'm happy with a 7 iron, but I don't believe that that is elevated as much as it is. Get down. Get down. Get down. No, it wasn't. I should have went with my gut instinct. I did not believe that that was 10 yards above my feet. But we do have a, a chip shot from 9 yards. We've played these well all round. Let's see if we can continue that trend. Would love to chip in for the birdie here in the final hole. Beautiful execution. Was never really attacking. It was never on line. But we should have a little tap in for the par. There you go, guys. A 9-under at Valley Vista. Aces are Wild's final course on the PS4 63. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. That, for me, is a 5-star course and a favourite. I will see you over the weekend for the Players' Championship at TP Sawgrass. Until then, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.